I am John Reinisch from Los Angeles, California. I'm a pediatric plastic surgeon who specializes in microtia reconstruction. It's the reason that the journal had asked me to review the articles from China and Korea about microtia. I want to leave the viewer with several takeaway points. One is uh, that the condition of microtia is rare, and for that reason, it is almost never diagnosed prenatally. So the birth of a child with microtia comes as a surprise and shock to families. Because it is uncommon, the professionals that you see don't have a great deal of experience with microtia. Uh, even uh, excellent medical centers, in, uh, the, particularly in the East Coast, where microtia is less common, uh, uh, don't always have the uh, best results. Um, secondly, the cause of microtia is uh, of interest to parents. It is not something that the mother did during her pregnancy. We think that microtia is a result of a slight genetic tendency for microtia and then a very rare epigenetic influence that can make that tendency come out or not come out. We see microtia in identical twins only in one twin, not the other. I have 19 of those uh, sets in my practice and all but one um, uh, have microtia only in one twin. Thirdly, it's important to talk about hearing. Hearing does not seem to be a significant issue for children, young children. They learn to speak well. Uh, but as school becomes more complicated and social situations become more complicated, hearing becomes more of an issue in teenage and late adult, e early adult years. Uh, and so any professional you speak to should give you a clear understanding of the difficulties you have with unilateral conductive hearing loss. And finally, the article from Korea talked about three methods of skin coverage for children with microtia more significant microtia. It was an interesting article for me, but in reality, the children who they treated were between 11 and 18 years of age. In the 21st century, with us being far more aware of psychological trauma, teasing, and bullying, it is now possible to reconstruct an ear in a single outpatient surgery when children are three or four so that they go to school uh, with two ears and good hearing, um, and that's the future, I think, of ear reconstruction. Thank you. Thank you.